What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Life vs. Lymphedema. I am Brian and today we are going to watch George get wrapped. This is my last manual lymphatic wrap session. I am going to be here throughout giving you my commentary and I'm going to pause when my physical therapist is saying something that people need to hear or whenever we're just having candid conversation. Let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start with our back foam. We don't do um, this foot. Only, I think you're probably the only patient I've ever had in all my years doing lymphedema that I don't do your foot. And I will also uh, appreciate you keeping it as high as possible. I know. Because that's the other okay. thing I was going to ask you is because this, it always starts to droop right here. Okay, like let me. The other me... day, it left like a little indentation here. Okay. So I was hoping to get it higher around the knee. Okay, let me see. Raise your leg up again. It's almost like I have to exaggerate it a little bit because it's gonna like slip back down somehow. Right. Um, so yeah, normally this isn't how I would position it, but just so it stays off your heel. Put your, go ahead and put your leg down for a second. Oh, thank you. <sighs> yes, I do request that the wrap not go down around my ankle. Lots of people have it wrapped around the foot. Every other massage therapist wants to wrap it around my foot. But I'm very active. I like to be moving around. I like to be able to put my shoes on. That's the only reason. Okay, lift up. Yeah, it's definitely not even near your heel today, so. Cool. Should be good. So what she's doing right now is she's attaching the gray foam to my leg and by wrapping it in place, that's the most, it's the best way to keep it secure. Now, you'll hear me complain a lot and you'll hear me grunting, you'll see me making faces. Lifting my leg is the hardest part of this entire process. She has to be able to get underneath it and she can't do that with my leg against the ground. But just imagine laying on your back putting a 90 pound weight on your ankle and having to lift and hold it. That's what you're seeing me do right now. All right, lift up. Too low, but some of it I can do sitting, so I'll whatever I can do sitting, I will. Is that little bolster? Let me, let me get that little bolster. Yeah, I'll do the bottom sitting, and then when I get to the top and I have to stand, I'll raise you up then, and then we'll okay. Yeah, but I said there's plenty of like I look at the camera, there's plenty of room to go up, okay. Okay, and you know, also. This goes without saying, mm -hmm. the treatment's more important than the video of the treatment. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, raise up. All right, so I anchor here and then I can cross down. So again, normally I'd go uh, from the foot or from the ankle and go up, but in your case, I need an anchor. So I do mm -hmm. the anchor and then go down. And then the next one, um, I'll try to cover a little bit more of the front here. Okay. So whenever you're ready. Oh, man. 
side here. Ooh. Oh man. So we'll start here. Do the next section. Whenever you're ready. Oh, I can use the bomb bolster now. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'll raise you up too. So I'm gonna start. Uh, Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When she says the words, we can use the bolster, it's the greatest phrase ever. It's just, it's just a mountain of relief. I left in... You can hear me grunting and groaning and sighing because it's a lot of pain holding that leg up like that. And it's no picnic for her either, let's be very clear. Also, I also left in the audio of her saying, you know, her basically accommodating for the camera. She's sitting in an uncomfortable position so that I can get this on film because there are lots of people who need to see what this process looks like when you have a case as extreme as mine. Um, I think when I get to a thousand subscribers, by the way, like, follow, like, follow, subscribe. I think when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to send her an edible arrangement. Another thing I should mention maybe is that I don't put anything in your creases. Um, I feel like all it's going to do is create moisture. <laughs> Unless I put in like the moisture wicking fabric, but we found that using the powder in the creases um, has been good enough for dealing with any moisture issues and then um, the lobules still go down really well without having any uh, padding in the creases so I'm not using anything in there. So if you stay wrapped till Friday, I'll measure you Friday, mm -hmm. but um, your bandages are going to need to be laundered over the weekend. Okay. Do I have the appointment on Monday or do I have the appointment on Wednesday? I'll let you know, I can look. I think laundry day would actually have to be Monday because I have an event on Sunday. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I could do it on Saturday, but then we'll have to unwrap. Oh, I see. Or I could do it tomorrow. Well, actually, I can't do it tomorrow. If you do it tomorrow, I won't measure you for it. <laughs> right, right, right. I would you, like... Well, let's, let's, let's find out when my... Uh, Your next is, yeah. Yeah, because my appointment is on Monday. And I might just have to do it tomorrow. No, I can't do it tomorrow. Oh, you can't. I gotta drive out to Falls Church and pick, out, pick up a new phone. Okay. Yeah, you still got looked up a little bit for me. Uh -huh. Short stretch. 
bandage. Hey, we are moving through this thing. Yeah. Right. Holster helps. It does. And I'll be able to get out of here before your next opponent gets here. Oh, we're doing that good? Good. Looks like, yeah, it looks I'll like still use the other room, though, because they take a little, they need a little time to dress and stuff, too, so. Okay. Yeah. So then my 11 o'clock will have to be. So, yeah, if I end up having an appointment at 3, uh -huh. I will just have to bring my daughter with me. And downstairs, they said it seemed like it would be okay. Okay. But I have to just pick her up from school early, pick her up at 2.30, uh -huh. and um, and bring her with me. Okay. All right, so I gotta take the bolster out to do the bottom. That's fine. So, and then let it be there so it doesn't go down too low. Okay. All right, so again, we're anchoring and then down it up. This is just a long stretch to secure Let's see, I have lots of ankle room. Just did. Good. Yeah, the foam placement definitely makes a difference. <laughs> Excuse me. Shoot, now I was trying to go down. Okay. Oh, I felt it. Yeah. I was trying to cover the, the flat here a little better. down after this pass. Yeah. There you go. You can take a break. I need uh, some clips. I want to thank everybody for their patience on this video. A lot of you have been waiting for it, requesting it. A lot went into editing it because I think it's super important. If you have the opportunity to get manual lymphatic wraps done by a physical therapist in your area, even if you have to travel, I suggest you do it. It's tons of help. Even if you can only go a few times a week. It's hard with working schedule. A lot of us are parents. I might have left the audio in where I was talking about possibly bringing my daughter to a session because it was that important. You can't help everybody else until you help yourself. If you can get therapy, get the therapy. It's a tremendous help. And hopefully you'll find a physical therapist as good as mine where she accommodated. She didn't wrap me around my ankle. She cared more about my comfort. Even in the beginning where she was tucking the phone behind my knee and making sure that was wrapped so I wasn't chafing when I was walking. All of that is important. It's important to your quality of life. And more important, it helps with the buildup in your leg. Get the therapy if you can. As always, I said it before, I'll say it again. Like, subscribe, follow. I'm also doing this thing on TikTok, life versus length on TikTok, where I'm just yelling at all the foods that I can't eat right now. I think it's kind of funny. You might think it's funny. Um, if you guys have any requests, make them now. Going forward, I'll be focusing more on my diet and how that's related to my, my leg progress. George is starting to kick back up a little bit. So I've been promising it for a while, but I think it's time for the pump. I think we'll be getting that next. Thank you for everybody, and I'll catch y'all later. Try to get the bottom and the top right, I will say that. <laughs> it's like if you do one, hopefully the top is right. It's hard to see where the bolster is. Okay, I'm gonna take the little bolster out. So I'm just gonna slide it. Wait, are we done? We're done. Yeah. We're done. Get the big one? Yep. Get the big one out. I just want to see what the back looks like when, after you set up. Up or back. When you roll or? Mm -hmm.
No, you're still folded. Um, mm. like your knee is still bent. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you could just sit, just dangle your leg down. Oh. This is the Her House Podcast. That's my daddy.